Hi there. This tutorial describes a technique for creating a palette of grays. You'll need this technique when painting some of the assignments in my books. I typically refer to this technique as mixing by volume, and I'll be working with these three colors. Ultramarine blue, titanium white, and transparent earth red. If you don't have transparent earth red, you can substitute burnt sienna. I'll also be adding Galkid to my colors. Galkid speeds the dry time of my oil paints. All right, I've taken a moment and squeezed out my colors and mixed in the Galkid. I'm careful not to add more than 25% Galkid to each color. Now I'm going to build my black. I find that, in general, the transparent earth red is stronger than the ultramarine blue. So I'm going to add a little more ultramarine to my mix. I'm not going to use all of either my brown or my blue. I may need a little more of one or the other of them in my black mixture. This mixture makes the black quick and easy. This black I've created is relatively weak. By that I mean it won't overpower colors that I mix with it. I'm going to check this black to see if it's a little uh, brown or a little too blue. I'll do this by mixing it with a little bit of white. All right, as I see it, this gray is reasonably neutral. It's not too brown, it's not too blue. I'm just going to get rid of it. For my first step, I'll take some of this black and add an equal amount of titanium white. Now I'll mix these together. This is my 50% mixture. It has the same amount of black as white. This graphic shows what I've created for my first step. I've combined equal amounts of black and white to create a 50% gray value. Keep in mind that this 50% ratio refers to volume. If I had a different black, I would have had a lighter or darker gray, but it's still 50% by volume. Now that I have that mixed, I'll take roughly half of it and move it here. Again, I'll take an amount of white that roughly equals this new, smaller pile of gray. This gray, the one I'm currently building, contains 25% black. I put together another graphic that demonstrates how the percentages work. Adding an equal amount of white to my previously created 50% black generates a gray that contains one part black and three parts white, or 25% black. Again, I'll take some of my newly created 25% gray. And, again, I'll add an equal amount of white. This new mixture divides the percentage in half again, so we now have a 12.5% mixture by volume. But I'm not being exact to the half a percent, so I just call it my 12% mixture. This graphic demonstrates the 12.5 or a 12% gray mixture. I'm going to generate another light gray, 50, 25, 12. This will be my 6% gray value. Again, I'll grab roughly an amount of white that matches this new small pile of gray and mix it. 50%, 25%, 12%, 6 and 6% by volume. Here's the graphic for my 6% mixture. Now I'm going to build a dark gray. I'll start by taking some of my 50% gray and moving it over here. This time, however, I'll pull an equal amount of black into the mix. This will be my 75% black mixture. Here's the graphic that demonstrates this dark gray value. I could build another dark gray, but I think you see the pattern. Adding, by volume, halves the percentage of the color not added. This technique helps me to build and rebuild the same gray palette day after day and year after year. Building this palette of grays depleted my initial 50% gray. But this gray is easily rebuilt. Equal amounts of titanium white and black rebuilds it quickly. If you've been painting for a while, you may not see the need for creating this palette of grays, but organizing your work will help you be a better painter. 
Thanks and good luck.